Thank you. Yes, uh, we discussed earlier the issue of uh, creating sustainable assets. On online communities, or we should say probably digital ecosystem, can really only maintain themselves uh, if they have sustainable assets. Uh, and sustainable assets mean uh, creating quality, creating quantity, and then allowing these assets to remain over time. Frequently we make the mistakes of uh, creating disposable assets, uh, meaning we ask people to do something uh, and then uh, it's tossed away. In fact, the newspaper model, as we know, uh, operates uh, on, on those assumptions. But if we look at our educational system, here we have the, and uh, pick your university, top 10% of the, so the, uh, the national intelligence, top 5%, maybe even better, uh, they are with us for three years, four years, sometimes six years or more. And our model of giving assignments is one, we give you the assignments to, so that you learn, but not that you create an output that has societal value. Um, if we can harness this intelligence over time, three, four years, uh, to not only create the learning, but also create these assets that come out from this learning by uh, essentially asking individuals to create meaningful results to existing problems. Then we get the double win. The students learn from the problem, and in fact it may be a much more interesting problem because it's a real problem, and we learn from the results being produced which are meaningful, which solve uh, a task which otherwise remains unsolved. And there's so many tasks in the world that they currently remain unsolved or require financial input, and here we, we can create the double win. That's the essence of the crash.